Regarding the border issue also, I saw that he made statements. I think uh, Abhishek Banerjee, it is his first time that he came to Shillong. I feel that, uh, you know, he has come only to the state capital. He has not uh, come down to these uh, areas of differences. So I feel that whatever he said, he had notes have been prepared by some of his party workers, maybe from the state. But I would request him, if he has time, he, I'm an elected representative from the border area. I would like to take him for a tour to these border areas where we are facing this long pending issue for 50 years. Past 50 years, it has not been solved. And the people in the border areas are suffering. So my humble mm -hmm. submission is, if he wants to know regarding the border area, I invite him to come along with us. We will take him and see the ground reality that we are facing. And I will appreciate this government that we, the NPP and the MDA as a whole, we are firm on settling this boundary dispute between Assam and Meghalaya, which is pending for the past 50 years. And we will make sure that this issue will be resolved soon. Allegations against the Chief Minister or the government. And also I would like to remind him uh, that he should not come to Meghalaya and you know project himself that he's such a clean politician. I think I should remind him that uh, the Enforcement Directorate and the Central Bureau of Investigation are already on his tail regarding the 1900 crore coal scam. I think his wife was also involved in this coal scam. Uh, I think uh, since uh, the state government out there is protecting him at the moment, maybe in years to come he'll be behind bars because there are proofs which uh, are genuine against this uh, 1900 crore coal scam. So before you level any allegations against any party or against the chief minister, I would request all political parties to come clean, to come with evidences and proofs. The statement that he made that uh, Meghalaya bows down to New Delhi. See, as a state, we are under the Republic of India. Meghalaya is under the Republic of India. So our state, as we know, we are a state where revenue generation is comparatively less compared to other states. So our relationship with the government of India should be a cordial, a good one, because at the end of the day, we have only one currency all over India. And uh, the allegation that he has uh, said that Meghalaya bows down to New Delhi is uh, something that we cannot accept. But uh, also he said that the chief minister is elected by the people. I would like to tell him that he should read the constitution once again that the chief minister is elected by honorable MLAs, not the people. Meghalaya Democratic Alliance as my, uh, my Development Alliance. That is what I heard in his speech. Uh, this also is something which, uh, uh, I, I, which the people of Meghalaya doesn't uh, believe him, first of all. And number two, Meghalaya Democratic Alliance comprises of different political parties across the state, including the United Democratic Party, uh, the People's Democratic Front, HSPDP, NCP, Independence, and other parties which are supporting the MDA government. And yes, MDA government is strong till today, but uh, to change the, the alliance name, I think it is uh, the National General Secretary of uh, the TMC has no right at all. He has no power over this. It is uh, the sole authority uh, falls under the chief minister if he wants to rename the alliance. Uh, so before uh, saying all this in the media houses, I request him to refrain from making such statements because we don't want Bengal type of politics in Meghalaya. We have held so many elections in the past and we have always had peaceful ones. But if we see from different news channels, during the Bengal elections. There are so many secret killings. There are so many people disappearing who doesn't support the TMC. So from our side, the National People's Youth Front, we are ready for the election. We welcome them to contest the election in Meghalaya. 
but also we are warning them that we don't want violence we are a state which is very peaceful we don't want any violence and the npyf is here to make sure that the 2023 elections will be smooth and npp will be uh, successful in this uh, coming election in the 2023